Throughout the world, in so many cultures, the act of service is considered one of the greatest gifts of love. Welcome back to Pro and Con. I'm your host, Con Jackson. We're all about the life of politics. And one family, they used to call it the Camelot family, and now they're saying after Camelot. We're talking about the Kennedy family. The Kennedys, JFK president, Ted Kennedy is senator, they have attorney general, Eunice Kennedy started the Special Olympics. You want to talk about a family that has an act of service that has given so much to our country? We're talking about the Kennedys. We have so much to learn from them. Now, Randy has written this book, and the one preceding it was Jackie Ethel Joan, The Women of Camelot. Well, Randy, we certainly appreciate you being with us. Now, I know you probably know more about the Kennedys with all the research and writing you've done than the Kennedys know about themselves. But just tell us about the pressure of having that Kennedy name, that legacy, and how it's been toxic to some of the Kennedy legacy. Uh, you know, uh, Carrie Kennedy, Ethel Kennedy's daughter, told me that uh, it's very difficult when your most private moments become your most public moments. And uh, basically, they've had to accept that uh, whenever they were faced with a private, personal or tragedy, that all of us on the outside would become invested in it as well. But she also told me that they've always felt the support and the affection of the American public throughout those times, and that that's helped them uh, sort of uh, get through the difficult times, such as when JFK Jr.'s plane went down and he and his wife and sister-in-law were killed in 1999, or Michael Kennedy, Ethel's son, when he was killed in a skiing accident, and David Kennedy, Ethel's son, who died of a drug overdose. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And throughout that time, we have really sort of watched this family pull together, and we've admired that a great deal, I believe. Well, that's very interesting indeed. Now, one of the things that comes to light is the public scrutiny that Kennedy seemed to get. And I had no idea that you had uncovered that JFK Jr. dated Madonna. There's a lot of discussion in the book about, about public scrutiny. And, you know, JFK Jr.'s romance with Madonna is something that I wrote about in this book for the first time. Uh, and here we had two people who were very different in the way that they looked at celebrity. Uh, trying to sort of get along and reconcile their differences. And, of course, they never did. Their relationship didn't last more than six months. But it's interesting to see the way people deal with celebrity and, w and the way that they deal with attention and, uh, and the pressure that it puts on them. It's something I've written about most of my life. Michael Jackson's one of my, one of my best uh, subjects and a very good example of somebody who was in the public eye from the time that he was 10 years old. Well, Randy, another kudos to you because that Michael Jackson book you referred to was yet another of your New York Times bestsellers. But let me ask you about Ted Kennedy. We tragically lost him in 2009. Great man, great acts of service he left as his legacy. But what was it like interviewing him? Well, you know, meeting Ted Kennedy, uh, wow. It's a, uh, you know, what he, what he said to me was, you know, he, he just felt that they did the best that they could with, you know, what they were given in life, you know, that they you know, that they just faced their challenges in the best way that they could, but as a family. And, uh, and even when they didn't agree with one another, they were still a family. I mean, Ted Kennedy and Sergeant Shriver, for instance, uh, had their differences. Sergeant Shriver was married to Eunice Kennedy Shriver, and Sergeant uh, was somebody who was a great American, a great patriot, who could have done probably a lot of amazing things for this country as president. But in the Kennedy family, there was a culture in place that protected a certain uh, lineage of succession uh, where the presidency was concerned. And it was going to be JFK, and it was going to be Bobby, then hopefully Ted, which never happened, then maybe Sergeant Shriver. And Sergeant Shriver told me that he, there was always sort of a glass ceiling to what he could achieve. Uh, but he, you know, he co-founded the Peace Corps. Uh, he was the ambassador to France under LBJ. Uh, he had the Head Start program that gave uh, employment opportunities to the underprivileged. He did amazing things. And so did Eunice Kennedy Shriver, by the way, who started the Special Olympics. I mean, what a couple, Sergeant and Eunice Kennedy Shriver. It's uh, a couple I'm really happy to be able to write about. They were married for 56 years, so that's a pretty good marriage, too. I have to say, 56 years of marriage, what a great threshold we should all try to achieve. Now, I'm just curious, of the 500-plus pages you have on the Kennedys here in your book, After Camelot, 
What impresses you most about the Kennedys? This family is all, you know, Eunice Kennedy Shriver told me that, you know, one of the things that she passed on to her children is, you know, do something. Uh, the Kennedys have always been about service to others. Doesn't make any difference, you know, as JFK said, you know, you, you know, do something with your life that's important and that, that benefits other people. And uh, that's a big theme in this book that uh, I think people will um, hopefully adhere to. Well, Randy, no doubt about it. Their act of service to our country and to one another should be commended. And thank you for this great best-selling book. Thank you, Con. You know, one of the great things about being part of the show Pro and Con, where we look at the best idea wins, this family, whether you're a Democrat, even a Republican, you need to respect the gift they've given this country and what they believe in. Salute to the Kennedy family and their legacy. We'll be right back. So glad you got to check out that clip. But listen, we've got plenty more going on here at Get Connected, our TV show. My friend and I are going to give you a glimpse of all the fun. So take it away. The sun shines bright as it moves across my face. I feel the light and everything is in its place. Oh, I woke up feeling great. Today was made for me. And life is good the way it should, the way it was meant to be. Well, join us and we'll get you in the know. Check us out at GetConnected at ConTV.com and be part of the movement.